the mixture of older cheeses. They grind them up and they add an emulsifier so that it holds together. So my name is Michael Tunick. I'm a research chemist for the U.S. Department of Agriculture. I wrote the book, The Science of Cheese. Now there are pasteurized processed cheeses out there and that's just a mixture of older cheeses and fresher cheeses. They grind them up and they add an emulsifier so that it holds together. It's processed in a way so that it melts easily. Trade name for that would be Velveeta, for instance. That name comes from the word velvet, meaning uh, the texture. It was invented right before World War I by J.L. Kraft, who was trying to get rid of some of his older cheeses, so he mixed it with the newer cheeses and came up with Kraft American cheese. Ever since then, cheese companies have been uh, doing that kind of thing. It is legal. Food and Drug Administration has some rules regarding uh, what it can be labeled as, such as pasteurized processed cheese spread and pasteurized processed cheese food. They have to follow certain uh, moisture and fat limitations, and sometimes uh, they have to be able to melt at a certain temperature. If it falls outside of those regulations, then the uh, manufacturers can call it some other things. It is something that's found a lot in processed food. The Philly cheesesteaks usually have cheese whiz melted on them. That is a pasteurized processed cheese. So it's something I would eat too, except it's not going to be nearly as good as a, a regular natural cheese.